So this is a tutorial on how to do this decorative border that I designed to look like autumn leaves. This blanket is the Granny Love Crochet Along blanket and if you want to find out more about this crochet along I'll pop all the details, links to the patterns and other tutorials in the description. So this border can be added to any granny square blanket. The only thing to know is the edge of your granny square, one side of your granny square needs to be an even number of granny clusters. So you've done an even number of rounds if you're doing a giant granny square. Also, another thing to know is I don't do chain ones between my granny clusters on my granny square. Some people do. If you've done, you would need, if you have done this, you would need to adjust this border pattern because this border pattern is designed to fit granny squares where there are no chain one spaces between them. So in this tutorial I'm going to be using this grey colour to crochet onto this 10 round granny square. So like I said we need an even number of clusters along one side of the square. This border looks quite complicated but it actually only uses single crochets, double crochets, chains and slip stitches. That's it for this border. There's no special stitches in there. Um, even these little pointy picots are just chains and slip stitches. So hopefully I can make this as beginner friendly as possible. So yeah, let's get started. So just a quick note before we get started, there is a left and a right handed version of this tutorial so make sure you're watching the right one. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I've just got a 10 round granny square that I found in a box and some grey yarn that doesn't have any use at the minute. But if you're following along with a crochet along, you're going to need camel in Stylecraft Special Double Knit for this border. So to start your border, you need to pick any corner and then we're going to join our yarn just like we did in the rest of the granny square blanket. So we put our crochet hook into that corner space. We wrap that yarn tail over the top of the hook and pull it through. And then I'm going to make a chain of one. So this first round is made up of single crochets and chain stitches. So in this corner, we're going to make one single crochet. That is double crochet if you use UK terms, I use US terms. So in the rest of the granny square blanket, we worked in the spaces between the clusters. In this border, we're going to be working into the tops of the stitches. So if you've not done that before, at the top of your stitches, you can see there are two strands of yarn there on the top of each stitch that make a sort of V shape. We put our hook underneath both of those strands there. Hopefully you can see that a little bit easier there. So I'm going to make a single crochet, that's in US terms, into the top of that stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, pull a loop through, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to skip the middle stitch of each of these groups of three double crochet. And instead we're going to do a chain, so yarn over, pull through. And then into the third double crochet of that group, you're going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to repeat this along. So in every three double crochet group, you're going to do a single crochet into the first double crochet. You're going to skip the middle and do a chain. And then you're going to do a single crochet into the third double crochet. So you can see that's what we've done here. We've got single crochet, chain space, single crochet, single crochet, chain space, single crochet. So we're going to continue that all the way along until we reach this corner. So I'm just going to speed this up until we reach the next corner, but feel free to pause it and catch up. Okay, so here we are at the next corner along and you can see in each cluster I've done a single crochet, chain one, single crochet all the way along. And now we're at the next corner. So in each corner you do a single crochet chain two, single crochet. If you want a written pattern to refer to for this border, I will pop a link in the description. So now we're gonna do the same around the whole square. So we're gonna continue doing that single crochet, chain one, single crochet, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, all the way along. And then in each corner, do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and do this all the way around your blanket 
until you end up back at this corner and I will meet you there. Okay, so I've repeated that round all the way around to the edge of the square and now I'm at the last corner. So in this corner, I'm going to do a trick that I have shown in some of my tutorials before. So I'm going to do a single crochet into the corner because if you remember in each corner, we need two single crochet. And usually we have two chains between them, but instead of doing two chains, I'm gonna do one chain and then I'm going to do a single crochet into the top of that very first single crochet. So I'm going under both strands of the V at the top and then I'm doing a single crochet stitch. And from this point forward, we pretend that that single crochet that I've just done is actually the second chain of our chain two corner. This means that every round we start in the very center. And this is how I like to do my granny squares and anything really that I work in the round with corners. So this round is the most straightforward round of the whole border. We're going to start with the chain three and then what we're actually going to do is we're going to work these granny groups. So a granny group, remember, is our three double crochet into the same space. So we're actually going to do that in these chain one spaces that we created in the last round all the way along. So in this corner, we're going to make our first granny group of three double crochet so there's our second double crochet and our third double crochet so there's our first granny group and then i'm not going to chain i'm not doing anything i'm going to look for the next chain space which is just there and i'm going to do my three double crochet into that chain space so one two and three so what you can see that's done there is that oh, let's move it more to the center so what you can see there is that group of three double crochet is directly above that last round of our blanket so this plays into how the border looks later on so you're going to repeat this all the way around into every chain one space you're going to work three double crochet and then in each corner, you're going to do a group of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. This round is exactly the same round as what you will have done in your giant granny square. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work one more group of three double crochet, and then I'll skip ahead to the corner, show you how to work a corner, and then we will finish off this round. So again, I'm gonna do three double crochet into the next chain one space along you can see there so now i'm just going to skip ahead until i reach the next corner and show you what we do there okay so i've reached the next corner and into that chain two space in the corner i'm going to work three double crochet so one two three and then I'm going to chain two to make another corner. Then I'm gonna do another three double crochet into that same corner space. So there we go, that's our corner. And then we'd continue this round doing our three double crochets into each chain space and then our three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet corner into each corner. So, I'm going to skip ahead to the end of this round to show you how to finish off, but don't forget there is a written version of this border that you can refer to that I will link in the description. So here we are at the final corner. To finish off this corner, I'm going to do three double crochet into that corner space just there. And then we're going to finish off this corner just like we did in the last round with a chain one and then a single crochet into the top of that starting chain there. So we've got one, two, three, we're going into the top of that starting chain. So again, that single crochet counts as the second chain of that corner. So now we're ready to start the third row. There are four rows total for this border. So in this row, we're going to learn a stitch called the V stitch. Don't panic, it's a really easy stitch to do and it's just made up of double crochets and chains. 
So we're going to start with a chain of four. This counts as our double crochet and then a chain one. And then we're going to do one double crochet into that corner space around that single crochet. Okay, and then in the space between the next two granny groups, we're going to work a V stitch. A V stitch is a double crochet, chain one, and then a double crochet into the same space. So we're doing a double crochet, we chain one, and we do a double crochet into the same space and that creates a V. You can see there's one leg of the V, there's the other leg of a V. So that's a V stitch. It's a really straightforward stitch and actually we can think of it like a granny group but we've replaced that second double crochet with a chain to make it look a bit more lacy. And that's essentially what we're going to do for this round is we're going to work a V stitch so double crochet, chain one, double crochet into each space along until we reach a corner. And then in the corner, we're going to do a V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch. So actually, this round is really similar to the round of a granny, of, a, of the last round or the granny square, except we're doing V-stitches instead of granny groups. So that's what we're going to do all the way along. So I'll show you it one more time and then we'll skip towards the corner. So let's work another V stitch into the next space along. So we're gonna do a double crochet, chain one, and then another double crochet into the same space. And that creates our V stitch. So do a V stitch into each space all the way along until you reach the corner. And I will meet you there and show you what we do in the corner. So now in the corner, what we're going to do is a V-stitch again. So we do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then chain two to make that corner space. And then we'll do another V-stitch back in that same corner. There we are. So we've worked two V-stitches into that corner. So you're going to repeat this all the way around your square until you get back to where we started and then things work a little bit different really in this corner to set up ready for the next round which is the final round which is the fun round that looks like I think it looks like autumn leaves so I will meet you back at the end of this round and we'll start making these really cute scallops. So here we are at the final corner I'm going to work a V stitch into that corner space there and then to finish this corner off we're not going to do like we did in the last two rounds with the chain one and then single crochet trick. What we're actually going to do is we're going to finish off this round as we normally would. So I'm going to chain two and then make a slip stitch into the third chain. So we're going one, two, three and then a slip stitch into that third chain. So now we're going to start the final round and what we're going to do is I'm not going to do a starting chain for this round. Instead I'm going to into that chain one space of that V stitch I'm going to make a single crochet. There's my single crochet. And then in the next V, we're going to make one of these sort of, they're called scallops or shells, but they've got this pointy bit. So yeah, so we're gonna make one of these shells into this V stitch. So to make one of these, those shells, you're going to make three double crochet into that V stitch, into that chain one space. So one, two, three. Now if you didn't want a point, this pointy bit here on your shells, you wanted sort of a rounded scalloped edge, you would just do three more double crochet and then single crochet in the next and then six double crochet in the next V and then single crochet and alternate like that. But to get that cute pointy bit which is the bit that I think makes it look like a bit like a leaf we're going to do something called a pico stitch and I will put it 
on the screen now. So a pico stitch is simply where we make one of these little pointy bits. So, so there are quite a few different ways of making a pico stitch. So you, if you already know one that you prefer, then use that. But this is the method that I used for this blanket. So I'm gonna chain two, and then I'm gonna put my hook, let me just bring it closer to the screen. I'm gonna put my hook under that strand, so that's the front loop of the V at the top of the stitch, and then under that strand there. So hopefully you can see that. And then I'm gonna make a slip stitch through those two strands. So I'm gonna yarn over and pull it through everything on my hook. And that creates this little point here, this little pico stitch. And then we do three more double crochet into that same V stitch. So that's one double crochet, two double crochet, and three double crochet. So you can kind of see how that sort of pointy shell has materialized. So now in the next V stitch, so in that space there, we're not going in the spaces between the V stitches, we're going in the spaces at the center of the V stitches. You're just gonna work a single crochet. And then in the next V stitch, we're gonna repeat this group here. So we're gonna do three double crochet. So one, two, three and then you're going to chain two and then put your hook under the front two legs of that double crochet there and slip stitch through it and the loop on your hook and then do three more double crochet into the same v stitch one two Three. So you can see how this border is starting to take shape now. So I'll stay with you for one more shell. We're going to do a single crochet into that V stitch there. And then into the next V, we're going to do our shell. So we're going to do three double crochet, ooh, double crochet. And then we're going to do that pico stitch. So chain, oh, I'm nearly off the screen there, chain two. And then put your hook through the front two legs of that last double crochet and slip stitch. And then do three more double crochet into the same V stitch. And then we single crochet in the next V stitch. So if I show you where we're up to so far. So in that V stitch there, we've got one of our shell groups. I keep saying shell and scallop, it's because different people call them shells and different people call them scallops. So I'll continue calling them shells from this point to avoid confusion. So I apologize for that. So we've got a shell here and then a single crochet and then a shell and then a single crochet, and then a shell, and then a single crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way across one side of your blanket until you reach this corner. Because in this corner, we do something slightly different to make it a little bit more pronounced. And it's my favourite part of this whole blanket is this corner shell here. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But yeah, crochet all the way along, just like we've just done, until you reach this corner, and then I will meet you there. So I've done my shells and my single crochets all the way along this side until I've reached this corner. So into that first V stitch, we're going to work a single crochet as usual. And then we're gonna do a slightly bigger shell in the next chain two space, not this V stitch, the chain two space here. You're going to do four double crochet and then your pico and then another four double crochet. So that's what we'll do. So you're gonna work four double crochet. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll do our pico as usual. So we're gonna chain two and then slip stitch through 
the front two legs of that stitch and then we'll do another four double crochet into that same corner space so one two three four so we can see that shell there uh, is take has taken shape it looks slightly different because it's going around that corner than the other ones so then I'm going to single crochet in the next V stitch and then you're going to continue this all the way around. So along the sides of the blanket you're alternating between a single crochet in the V stitch and then a shell group in a V stitch. So three double crochet, pico, three double crochet. And then in each corner, chain two space, you're doing four double crochet, make a pico, four double crochet. So repeat this all the way around your blanket until you reach that last corner and then I will show you how to do our last shell and also how to finish off with a nice neat invisible join for the very edge of our blanket. So I've just finished doing all of my shells in all of my V stitches all the way around and I've finished off this final corner. So to make this final join nice and neat, I'm going to snip my yarn, leaving a nice long end for weaving in. And then I'm going to use my hook to pull that end through that stitch and then thread my yarn end. So the technique I'm going to use here is called the invisible join. Um, and I have shown it in some of my other tutorials. You can, of course, use a slip stitch if you prefer. So to do this final invisible join, I'm just going to pop my yarn needle underneath both legs of that single crochet at the very start of this round. And then I'm going to just pull that tight. And then I'm going to put this needle underneath that those two back loops of that last double crochet of that shell go and then now. so as you can see this is an almost invisible join here and then you've just got to weave your ends in and your blanket is finished i'll just pop some footage on the screen now of what the finished blanket looks like and what this square looks like with that border on it And if you've enjoyed this tutorial and you want to support me, please like and subscribe so more people get to see my crochet tutorials. And you'll probably enjoy this tutorial that's on the screen now where I show you how to do a really unique flat join as you go technique for any crochet squares.